back to my channel it is pluto of pluto's muse i hope all is well this is going to be another timeless collective well not collective i'm sorry a timeless general <laughs> what do i say what do i say in these a timeless pick a card reading um for the collective whoever watches this I'm, i think i want to just like clarify beforehand that these are general readings so regardless of what comes up if it resonates it resonates if it doesn't it doesn't and that's completely fine you can always choose one or more piles but i recommend you choose the one that you're drawn to most this pick a pile is going to be about um, the person on your mind, whoever you have on your mind, and how they currently feel about you or view you at this present moment. So while you're watching this, we're going to look at how this person on your mind is currently feeling about you, viewing you, things like that. Um, and possible advice regarding your connection. If you enjoy this reading, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Turn on your notification bells. Check the description box down below for booking information as well as channel songs. Um what else <laughs> i don't know let's see pile one we have the box of matches all right for pile one <laughs> for how the person on your mind currently feels about you views you pile two you have the pine cone for pile two and then pile three you are going to be the dragon's blood incense dragon's blood incense for pile three all right so take a second meditate choose your pile and then we'll get started at pile one you are the pile that chose the box of matches all right strike on matches we got green light up here somebody's name could be diamond <clears throat> somebody's last name could be green somebody's favorite color could be green red i'm getting earth and fire so you or this person could have earth or fire in your charts Okay, or this connection, how this person currently feels about you. There's something that really <clears throat> excites this person about you, but also um, makes them feel grounded or makes them feel like they have to ground themselves. Maybe you get this person excited. Um, diamond. For some of you, this person feels like you are a diamond, like you are... I just heard expensive. <laughs> For some of you, this person may feel like you're expensive. Um, if not expensive, I just feel like this person may feel like you are one of one. Like, you know, diamonds are um, birthed out of pressure, harsh conditions. So some of you guys, this person views you as someone that has been through a lot um, and has came out on top. Right. That's wonderful. Now, I'm going to try to be as honest as possible in this pile, but I'm also going to try to be kind <laughs> because I care about you guys and I don't want to be too harsh. Um, this reading could resonate for any gender. All right. Or this could be about any gender or um, pronoun or anything like that. So if I say the wrong pronoun anywhere in this reading, please excuse me. Just replace it with the one that you view as the proper one i also wanted to say something else what was i gonna say mm. oh i filmed this pile already pile one um i filmed the pile and even when i was filming it the first time around i wasn't really feeling it <laughs> i wasn't really feeling it the first time i was filming it this is somebody you already know all right so if you are looking for a new person or something like that Either this is someone like that you had a weird first impression with and somebody wants a do over or this is somebody that you already know and they want a do over is what I'm getting. Yeah, because I filmed it, went to go get something to eat and then came back. 
Um, so maybe some, <laughs> maybe somebody's like, you need to eat, you know, maybe this person feels like you need to eat. Okay. And I don't get it in a rude way. This person may just feel like, like maybe you're grumpy and they feel like you need to eat something or they care about that. They care about whether you eat. They care about whether you're okay. They care about whether you are taking care of yourself. This person cares about that, about you taking care of yourself. Also, somebody in here could like, uh, somebody in here could cook a lot or somebody likes cooking. This person may have been in your kitchen. You may have been in theirs. I'm also getting something, too, around 300, the movie 300. Somebody may like movies or like that movie or like Grease and all those things. All right. After I'm done describing everything, I am going to um, give you a bit of advice at the end of the pile. But let's talk about this pile. So whether this is a friend lover whoever it is this is definitely someone you know and this is definitely someone that has some sort of history backing the feelings that they're currently feeling towards you now if this is a new person like a newer person but it's not like someone you've known for that long there's still some level of history here um or this person may be basing their feelings about you off of their previous situation because you know this could be a projection of what they've gone through that they're viewing you or feeling about you um how they're currently feeling could be a projection of their past however I get the vibe that this is someone that you have some sort of history with. This could be somebody in your friend group, like I said, or somebody in here really cares about their friends. This person may feel like you care a lot about your friends. You're always around your friends. Um, this could be somebody that's around their friends a lot or something like that. Like they have a lot of people that they hang out with or a large crowd of people that they work with or whatever it is. But um, I'm, I'm even getting the vibe too where it's like you and this person could view each other as friends. Even if you're dating or even if you have dated, this person may feel like you both were, you know, gang gang. I'm getting gang gang. <laughs> I don't know. Who, I don't know who, who it is that you're looking into, but this person thinks you were gang gang at one point and now you're not. All right. Um, Cause I'm definitely getting a vibe where somebody felt like an option or felt like they were being put in a third party. Okay. Um, and you may even feel like you were being put in a third party with this person if they put their friends before you or if they you were in a relationship. And um, some of you, this is like a partner you've been married to. For others of you, this is someone you could have wanted to get married to, engage. Um, for others of you, this person could have been engaged, could have been married. And maybe you didn't know about this. All right. Maybe you didn't know that this person had other things going on outside of you. But that's not for everybody. It could be your story on your end. Because I get the vibe that this person feels like, unfortunately, they don't think at this current moment, they don't think that there's anything that will come of this situation with you. All right. I feel like this person may be very focused on work right now or they view you as being very focused on work right now because you don't view this as something worth investing in. This person isn't done talking to you or doesn't want to stop talking to you but I get the vibe where they're not ready to make a move and they don't feel like you are either all right um, I am getting strong fire in this pile so Aries Leo or Sag Capricorn Libra Leo is out here uh, Scorpio and Libra heavy on the Libra Virgo um, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, heavy on the Libra. Somebody got a Libra placement or something like that, or I don't know. Um, Scorpio, Taurus, Leo, Aquarius, Sag, heavy on the Sag, Aries, heavy on the Aries, um, and heavy on the Leo. Yeah, heavy, heavy fire in this pile. So whoever this person is, definitely very fiery. This could have been a very passionate connection, very sexual connection. Um, or maybe you guys like, you know, it's a fiery type of connection. Like you guys know how to crack jokes with each other. You know how to, you know, laugh. You know how to, um, you know, have some level of banter. I'm feeling like somebody in here could be witty. You and this person could be witty. I'm getting Sag and Gemini. Like you and this person could know how to go back and forth or something like that. Um, but I feel like this person, how they currently feel, they either feel like you're very focused on 
your happiness or they're trying to focus on theirs. Whatever cycle you both played out before, this person does not want to play out that cycle. And if this person has history with someone else that was negative, they don't want to play out that cycle with you. I feel like this is someone that's trying to avoid heartbreak at all costs. But unfortunately, I feel like this person's heart is already broken. Sadly, I feel like this person is sad. They feel like you you could have ghosted this person. All right, you could have left this person on red or... You have a tendency to do this. Like you may be the type of person that disappears for a while. That's why I said I went to go get food and like came back. This person might be like, where'd you go? You know, you may not talk to this person for a while or and it may not even be that long. But when you don't talk to this person, this person uh, thinks a lot. For some of you, you're older than this individual. For others of you, there's just some sort of difference in communication styles or like maturity to a certain degree I do feel like this person views you as being very self-focused all right like they view you as loving yourself they like watching you I don't know what it is that you do that they can watch but they like watching you or there's something here about them being able to see you like shine they like how you shine whether it's in a certain career field whether it's at work whether it's you know I don't know, out in public when you guys are hanging out. This person likes to see you when you're confident and when you're um, loving yourself. There's something here about dancing. Maybe this person wants to go dancing with you or this person has seen you dance and they're like, wow, like you look really nice. Or something about like laying in a bed. <laughs> Maybe this person has seen you lay or like sleep. Maybe this person goes to sleep with you, like on the phone or something like that. Something about you sleeping. Like this person may feel like you're very peaceful looking. They like how you look when you sleep or they like how you look when you, when you don't know they're looking. They look at you when you don't know they're looking. Some of you are in the LGBTQ, you don't have to be. If this is a friend... This friend still looks at you while you don't know. <laughs> if this is a friend, this friend still thinks that you're attractive. Doesn't mean that they want to like full on, you know, hunch. But I'm getting, <laughs> I'm getting that this person, um, this person may feel like, you know, you're beautiful. Like they like who you are as a person. They admire you. They think you're very wise. They think you're very um, poised masculine or feminine they view you as being very poised but I do get an energy here where like if this is a love connection this person feels like you're looking for somebody else like you are not focused on them you chose someone else you desire something different they don't feel like they're the one you want to be with somebody might like R&B or somebody's initials could be R&B but I'm seeing R&B come out in the cards sticking out to me I'm also seeing divine feminine this person may view you as being very divinely feminine or this is a divine feminine that feels this way about you you could have FaceTime this person or this person wants to FaceTime you hmm I'm seeing the initials B R F and T D <laughs> almost choked D D not choked on, not choked on the D <laughs> somebody in here is dirty somebody in here is dirty or not somebody may not be let's keep it professional people I'm seeing L W Y and A as well these could be initials C J K and S P Yeah, there's an energy in this power where it's like this person would like to reconnect with you, but they also feel like they'll be fine if they don't or 
this person would like things to move forward with you, but they also feel like they'll be fine if they don't. And not in a arrogant way or a way where they don't feel like this connection is valuable. I just feel like this person has given up the dynamic to the divine at this point because they feel like either they're competing for you or they have people competing for them. And they're like, what do I do? Like, do I ignore the people who want me? Or do I fight for you? Like, because either you're, if you're currently committed to this person, this person may feel like you're putting other things before them. Like you don't really want to be with them. And I feel like the biggest challenge here is that nobody has taken the lead to communicate. Like between the two of you, I'm getting a strong vibe that like, and I mean, you know, take it how it resonates. I said I didn't want to be too, <laughs> I didn't want to be rude in this reading or anything like that. I'm, I never try to be rude, but I don't want to be too harsh about what it is that I'm picking up on, but I definitely get the vibe where there's a lot of pride between you and this person. You and this person have a lot of pride. Somebody also, I don't know whether it's you or this person, but somebody's really trying to use their head over their heart. They do not want to communicate from their heart space. They don't even want to think from their heart space. They're trying to protect themselves. This person feels like being confident in themselves and their value will be the thing that will change the situation. And to a certain degree, I do believe this is true. But I also feel like this person wants to talk to you. And then I also get a vibe where it's like this person would much rather you reach out to them first, though. For some of you, this person wants to work with you. If this is like a friend, this person may want to work with you. They feel like you both would be good at working with each other on a certain project. They may feel like you're both in similar fields of work or there's something here about you both having talents that could benefit the other. This person may really want to work with you on something. For others of you, though, I am getting, like, um, heavy on the, like, laying. Like, I don't know why I'm seeing, like, pillows and things like that. Like, even that pillow on this card. This lady's looking sleep. This pillow on this card. Like, <laughs> this person this person may want to lay with you. Okay? Um, if this is a connection where you both are committed, but there's some sort of distance, like maybe someone works a lot or someone doesn't get to see the other a lot. I do feel like this person needs some level of physical touch. They're looking for physical activity. They want to physically be around you. They want to talk to you as well, but they would like to physically be around you. And I'm not getting like in a raunchy way. Like I said before, I'm getting this whole R&B thing. Like I feel like this person wants to hold you. <laughs> this person wants to hold you or they want to be held or something like that. They may even want to hug. For some of you, this person really likes hugging you. Okay, but like I said, I'm getting like dancing. I'm hearing um, For the Love of You. Is that the title? By the Isley Brothers. This person may like oldies or you like oldies. What does he say? Like, I want to be living for the love of you. Like, this person might might really care about you. But they feel like the situation isn't going to go anywhere. And I do feel like this person is loyal to you to a certain degree, but it's like they don't know. They don't know how you feel or they don't know what you are going to do because you may have ghosted them or you're like not focused on them. This person thinks you're in another relationship. Even if this person is in another relationship, this person is like, I can't come forward. You're in a relationship. And if this person is in their own relationship, then, I mean, you know what I mean? Like, I would not recommend, dang, you got the four of wands, the lovers, and the queen of cups, the 
Ace of Cups. He could be a water sign you're dealing with, or you're a water sign. This person. For some of you, okay, you're a water sign. It's either one or two things. You could be this water sign. You're dealing with a water sign. Or somebody has a decision between you and a water sign or something like that. If you're the water sign, though, this person is loves you. If you aren't the water sign and this water sign is the one you want, they love you. If, <laughs> let me give all the scenarios. Even if it's friends, if it's friends, if it's lovers, it's love. It's all love here. But if also this is like a, um, like that's a third party though. I don't know. Somebody is, I don't feel like that's a third party. That's either you or your person. Even if you're not that sign. Because I feel like somebody is focused on self-love. Like that Queen of Cups energy, I feel like this person views you choosing yourself over the relationship. Like you chose yourself. And it made them love you more. And it made them love you more. Your advice here is like, if this person did do something wrong to you in the past or hurt your feelings in the past, forgive them. Forgive them. If you came to this reading to look into this person, I want you to know, you may not be talking to this person or there may be some sort of weird riff you're going through. They're losing hope. They're trying not to, but they're losing hope. You could be losing hope too. There's a lack of hope here. And the first time around, I ran the, like, reading through, and I was kind of giving, like, you know, there, there's a lot of passion here and all this stuff, vibes, which there is. But I feel like it's deeper than just passion, even though there is a lot of passion between the two of you. It's deeper than just passion. But your advice came out. You, <laughs> you got an oracle that did say passion. So this is the oracles you got as advice. You have doubt. I release the need to know all the answers. So some of y'all, you need to know. Stop trying to figure out where this connection is going to go and just be in it. Or stop trying to figure out what's going to happen next and just enjoy the present moment. Some of you guys need to be more present. Okay. I'm also getting to some of you need to focus on planning for more abundance or sorting out your finances. Maybe that's what you're doing right now. Maybe that's why you're not talking to your person. You could still talk to them and tell them that you're trying to sort out your money. But if you haven't told this person, like if you ghosted this person and just started focusing on your money, like that wasn't right. I don't want to be I don't want to tell you what not to do, but I'm getting that wasn't right. And if you want to. If you didn't do that, though, maybe this person did that to you. This person could have ghosted you because they were focused on their money. I feel like somebody needs to move out of the energy of lack that they may have been in previously. You've been working really hard, and I feel like this person works really hard, too. And I feel like the, the hard work is going to pay off, but... If this connection is important to you, somebody is going to have to learn from the past and make an effort. Okay, learn from the past and make an effort. Learn from a past relationship and make an effort or learn from the past of this connection and make an effort. You also have the mantra. When I focus on my inner light, I choose the world through the lens. I'm sorry. I see the world through the lens of love. When I focus on my inner light, yeah. So somebody's having a hard time with seeing this connection from a space of love. And it's because they're not viewing... That You may feel like there's nobody else out there like you or something like that. Or like... <sighs> I am getting that you're healing right now. 
pile one. Like you're taking some time to heal. Maybe the past has made you a bit jaded or cold when it comes to love. And again, you might even be triggered by the fact that I'm saying this person is like hanging out with them, their friends and keeping their options open. You know, if you care about this person, you may not want them to, you know, you may not want them to be as open to other people. But I feel like it's hard to wait and watch you live life and you both not connect. Like, if it's not going to be anything, I feel like this person is going to ultimately end up moving forward and possibly meet someone. They might meet someone that loves them like this, if this is a whole nother energy. But if that's you, this person wants to be with you. You also have passion. It says a magnetic and seductive quality surrounds you at present. Enjoy it. So some of you, the the life, life is lifing. <laughs> life is lifing right now. What are you doing? Are you living life? Or are you just passing time? I'm getting somebody needs to figure out what they want to do and go after it. Be passionate. Okay, that doesn't mean you have to hop on anybody again. But I am getting like, if you like this person, tell this person that you like them. If you want to see this person, tell this person that you want to see them. If you want to go outside and not even talk to this person and just enjoy your life, you can do that as well. I feel like this person will continue watching you. All right, or continue hoping and thinking about you. Or wishing you well, even. I don't feel like this person wishes any bad on you. Even if there was conflict, I don't feel like this person wishes any bad on you. I just feel like this person is learning a lesson. There was some sort of karma in this dynamic that this person was supposed to learn from. And you were as well. So whether this is a lesson that you both learn from and move forward from, that is your decision. This person's decision and your decision. But for some of you, this person and you are meant to learn from this. And if you want to revisit this connection or cycle, then, you know, be prepared next time. All right. So that is all that I have for my pile ones. I hope this reading made sense. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like, comment, share or subscribe. Turn on your notification bells. Check the description box for booking information as well as the channel songs. And have a wonderful day. <laughs> Thank you. Hi, pal two. You are the pal that chose the, I was going to say the porcupine. Is that how you say it? Porcupine? <laughs> Not the porcupine. That's an animal. <laughs> I wanted to say the pine cone, pal two. Pal two, this person may feel, <laughs> this person may feel like you are silly. Okay, um, I'm also getting to how to this porcupine, not porcupine. Look at me. Couldn't even get it right. Somebody could have a language difference or somebody speaks another language. <laughs> not because porcupine is another word, but I'm getting there's some sort of uh, issue here when it comes to communicating this. And I'm not sure why. Maybe you make this person nervous. Pao Tu, I got a lot to say to you, Pao Tu. I got a lot to say to you. First off, wait, 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 before we even get into it. Disclaimer, I'm going to be as honest as possible. I'm not going to try to be too harsh because I want to make sure you guys feel comfortable <laughs> or comforted. All right. I'm trying not to be too, you know, too, too hard on what it is that I'm saying. Um, and I honestly want this to be a positive reading. So I'm trying to make sure it's clear, but also uplifting as uplifting as I can get it. N no, no sugar coating, though. I'm going to tell you what I see. However, um, let me finish what I'm saying about this. Damn, my mind. This thing is po like pointy. <laughs> okay. This thing is pointy. Um, and even though I'm holding it comfortably here, if you touch the wrong pointy part, it hurts. All right. This thing is pointy and it hurts sometimes. So even though it's pretty and it's cute, it can be painful. All right. Or it's spiky. So for some of you, this person feels like you are beautiful, may even be a little festive. Somebody in here could be a December baby, could be a Sagittarius or a Capricorn in here. I'm also getting with these pointy parts like Scorpio vibes. So somebody could be a Scorpio as well. 
you or the person that you're thinking about. Um, but the energy behind this pine cone is making me feel, or an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, I'm getting that as well. Um, the energy behind this is giving me like, this person views you as very attractive, but they feel like you, like you might be a little guarded or overly protective of yourself. They can tell that you're really protective of your energy. All right. <laughs> Ow. Like to the point where maybe you say some things sometimes that hurts this person's feelings. All right. That doesn't have to be the case, but it potentially could be the case. All right. I'm getting that. Um, some of you that chose this pile, you or this person could be a Libra, Taurus, Pisces, um, 49. Somebody could be 49 years old or somebody could be 30 in this pile. They don't have to be. But 49 is what? 13. 13 always gives me Scorpio as well. Or Taurus or Aries. And then 30 is uh, March. So Pisces and Aries, heavy on the Aries. Um, Scorpio as well, heavy on the Scorpio, heavy on the Libra, heavy on the Taurus. You have Scorpio, Taurus, Libra. Nope. Okay. Libra again. <laughs> Scorpio, Taurus, Leo, and hmm, Aquarius, Sagittarius in this pile. Cancer. Aquarius, Pisces, Scorpio, Aries, hmm, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, yes, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, okay, I think that's it, yes, I think that's it, Leo, I'm getting as well, if I didn't already say Leo, Sag, okay, so, this could be a newer connection, pile uh, two, or this is a connection where there is potential, I want to say, for a new romantic cycle, all right? That's what I was going to say. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> There's so much to say in this pile. Um, this person may have a lot that they want to say to you, or maybe you're a talker and this person can tell this person's like, you talk a lot. I don't think they think it's a negative thing, but this person may be able to tell that you talk a lot. Or for some of you with that guarded energy, like this person may talk a lot, but you don't say much or something like that. But, um, before I got in this pile and oh my God, I just, I'm honestly not going to go too in depth with it, but I was shuffling the cards and listening to the music. And for some reason, I started thinking about somebody that I liked. Okay. And I was like, what the hell? <laughs> I was like, what the hell? Like, why is this what I'm thinking about? But this is the thing. I was thinking about it because all I could think was like, and it had it had to be Mercury. It had to be Mercury retrograde. Like I'm like Mercury retrograde. I don't give a damn, right? I'm in my mind. I'm like I don't give a damn, but it. But deep down, I think I did give a damn. And I was listening, and I'm like, uh, this is crazy that these these feelings are coming up because I was just reminiscing a lot, and I'm like, I wonder what this person is doing. Like you know, like I'm thinking about the past, and this is the problem, though. This is the thing. I don't know whether you're in that space as well, like you're in this new dating situation, but you're reflecting on someone from the past, or if this is how this person views you, okay? Some of you could have a, a, an energy where this person feels like you're either waiting on another person or like you're like you're not all the way in it or something like that. And I was like, damn, like, this is crazy. I, I really was like thinking to myself, like, why am I thinking about this person right now? Like, it really, it, it really had me like thinking. Like, I think I was like a little in my feelings too. Like, I'm like, damn, why am I thinking about this person? But low key, I feel like it's because whoever is in this pile, whether it's a new person or a person that you want to have something with, for some of you, this is someone that, you're just getting to know this could be somebody you've met around friends or somebody that is a friend. All right. This could be a friend. Doesn't have to be. Or like. This is somebody where. I 
This is somebody where something has to be released in order for you to align with them. Okay? Whoever this person is. I'm not really getting, like, negative vibes in this pile. So, again, like... If this is a past person, you don't have the worst of memories with this person. And if this is a new person, the vibe is feeling good. But I feel like something about the connection is possibly making you think about someone from the past. Or this person feels like you're thinking about someone from the past. Like, you may not be fully open just yet. Like, first of all, I think this person is very intrigued by how you look. This person is very physically attracted to you, pal, too. Whoever this person is, how do they feel about you? Like you are their type. You're just their type. Like however you look is exactly how they would want someone to look. And this could be somebody that has other people that are interested in them. But like to them, you are really it. Like you are the one they're interested in. But for some reason, I feel like... <laughs> Like, either this person has to step out of their comfort zone to approach you. Like, maybe you make them nervous. Maybe there's something about the connection that's making them feel like they're not, like, it's risky. Like, something about this feels risky to them. But for others of you, I feel like this person feels like you have to step out of your comfort zone, whatever your comfort zone is. For some of you, this person feels like you're very non-committal. all right? Or, like, you're not open to something more especially if this is like a friend or something like that. Like this person may feel like you are in a space where you're not really focused on making this romantic or something like that. I'm not getting that this is a, this would have to be a friend that like you genuinely already had the vibes of like, is giving that we kind of, you know, like we're, we like each other. Somebody could have even told the other person that they liked each other or you both have or something like that. Or again, if this is a new relationship, I'm getting like, it's very clear and obvious that you both are compatible or that you both like each other. But there's still some sort of hesitancy here. I feel like this person either believes that you anticipate an ending or they like think you want to break up like they think you're preparing yourself to leave this behind or like there's potential for you to leave for some of you this person feels like you might be a little scarred from your past and you're not very open to anything super serious just yet but I'm getting that this person is like you're my type oh no I'm at the cup of her body what can I cover up with? Mm, I have to cover up her body. <laughs> I just realized. I don't even have my crystal. Actually. I'm going to put the eyeglass sheet over it instead. I didn't want it to be the Beats headphone case. Some of you guys, this person likes music. This person's into music or something about headphones. Podcasts, YouTube, you or they, something like that. Um, But yeah, like I feel like this person, this person has so much hope for the future of this connection. Like they're in it. I feel like they're already committed. I feel like they're already committed like this person I don't I don't care if this is a new person or what this person is in it to win it like they want this but something about you Paul too <laughs> something about you Paul too Paul too you're coming off like you I don't know this person is hoping that you'll open up like you'll let love in they would like to show you love um but I do feel like there's like a need to balance out the practicality of this connection and the feelings. Like maybe this person feels like you're trying to be a bit more logical about the connection because maybe there is like an undertone of this being very, you know, spiritual. This person may feel like there's something very spiritual. I also feel like you view this as being something that you were destined to encounter. But there's like stagnancy here, like the current state of this connection and even their intentions behind the connection is to like move out of a period of stagnancy. Like if you're in a stalemate with this person and you're not talking to them or you're not making any moves, this person's like, we need to make a move. Like we need to change things. I'm also getting too like this person wants to change your mind. Like if you have a certain perception of them or of love in general, this person's like, I can change your mind. 
that's a confident person. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. <laughs> this person's like, I can change your mind. I don't know what that's about. Somebody thinks they can change your mind. This person may feel like you both are like unicorns. Like you're both very different or you both are very individual type of people. And with this love oracle, you got true love. This love is once in a lifetime. This person might really think you're their true love. Like if this is a new person you're dating, this person feels like you're their true love. That's intense, right? Like how to get that far. And not only that, for some of you, again, if this isn't a new person and this is like somebody that has already told you they liked you, you've been hanging around each other, whatever it is. I feel like this person is like, I think this is like, has potential to go somewhere. They're just looking for peace. They can tell that you're peaceful. I don't feel like this person wants to disrupt your peace. Okay, I feel like this person is trying to honor your feelings. They're like worried that you... They're worried that you... won't want to choose them though that's what I'm getting like you may have a lot of people that you could talk to and a lot of things that you could pursue and this person feels like why me but I don't feel like it's in a like I'm an I'm insecure type of way it's just like why me like w you got so many offers and options why me though you know what would make you choose me out of the people you talk to and some of you guys might be like, I really like you. Because that's what I was thinking. That's what I was thinking while I was watching. I mean, not while I was watching. <laughs> that's what I was thinking while I was listening to the music. Well, I was. I was watching watching a video. But um, when I was listening to the music and watching the video, I was just like, I really liked that person. <laughs> I was like, I really like that person. So then I'm thinking like in my mind, like while I was reading this, I'm like, maybe this person doesn't think you like them or something. Sad. So sad. So sad. And it's crazy because I feel like you're overthinking it, pal, too. Some of you guys are overthinking it. I don't know whether you haven't. Um, like you're not showing as many feelings as you want. Don't get me wrong. Protect yourself how you need to. But some of you are like acting disinterested and you need to ignore your anxiety. You got anxiety. I feel like you got anxiety as soon as you realize like, I might really like this person. Like you're trying to control it or something. Can you see that? I even get too like for some. For some of you, if this person did tell you that they liked you, they might have really been confident about it. Like, oh, no, I really like you. Like somebody might have been really confident about liking you. And I feel like it threw you off. This person might have really like I feel like this person would have told you that they liked you. Even if it's a new person. Or they've made it clear, like they physically have shown you like, no, I am interested or. Like, I do like you. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> this pile got me cracking up. I feel like you just didn't believe it or the past, the past. The past has you in a space of feeling like, I don't know, like you're still betrayed. Like the things that you've been through are still in your energy. And if you feel like that's true and you need to heal, definitely heal. Some of you could be fresh out of a breakup or some of you may feel like, some of you may feel like this person needs to heal, but I'm not seeing this person needing to heal. I feel like this person is wanting to come towards you. They want to heal something with you. And if you don't have any issues with this person, again, I'm getting like they want to heal with you. Like they want to heal their view of love with you. I don't know if you've kissed this person yet. This person really wants to kiss you. Or this person really likes kissing you. I feel like somebody smells good. <laughs> I don't know what that's about. Somebody in this pile <laughs> smells good. Or you think this person smells good or this person thinks you smell good. And there's a lot of emphasis on like the heart space and the chest. Like something about this person. This person feels like something about their heart. You make their heart feel warm. This person feels genuinely um comforted or soothed by you like this connection is very healing to this person 
they also feel like this connection is very abundant as well. They feel like there's a lot of prosperity and abundance that is, you know, potentially there for you both to build together. But they're like waiting on you to say something. If this person has offered you love, I feel like they're waiting for you to accept it. But if you are trying to figure out whether to offer this person love, your guides are saying, get out of your head. Get out of your head and say how you feel or offer this person love. Because I feel like this person would accept it. I also get the vibe too where you got to stop anticipating a third party or you have to stop anticipating an ending. Okay, even if this is like, again, this could be like some sort of friendship turned into a love thing or... This could be some sort of situation where, again, maybe this person was in a connection, you knew them in a connection, or you're fresh out of a connection, or I don't know. Whatever it is, I feel like you have to stop anticipating a third party. Maybe you've been cheated on in the past, or maybe you've experienced some level of betrayal in the past. I feel like you have to get over that in order for this connection to move forward, because this person is definitely waiting for change. Their intention is to wait for change. I also feel like you're dealing with someone that's very loyal. Whoever this person is, this person is loyal. And I'm not saying loyal like loyal wait for you forever. But I feel like this person is loyal like if you were to commit to them or if you were to make things work, they would be loyal to you. For some of y'all, this person is very loyal though, like to the point where they've been waiting. Like they've been like, yeah. Oh, it's kind of sad. Like, I don't know if this person's friend zoned or what, but it's like this person been waiting. <laughs> this person been waiting. So I don't know. I don't know what you want to do. I don't know what you want to do about to, but that's the vibes that I'm getting. Like, they're like, do you feel the same way as me? Like, they could even be talking to other people. You, This person, again, this person could be in a whole nother relationship or was at some point in time. And you're like, how could you like me if you dated someone else? It's like they literally thought you didn't like them or something like that. That's what I'm getting. Or like you told them you didn't like them and they were like, okay. But if that isn't the case and this is like a new person, if this person starts dating people, like if you guys are casually dating and this person starts dating someone else and you're like, how could you date someone else? You have to understand. <laughs> you gotta be logical. You can't be a pine cone and mean or cold or distant and expect this person to like, you know, yearn for your love. Like this person respects themselves is what I'm getting. Like this person definitely respects themselves. But they also respect you. So your advice, you have courage. I find the inner strength to face fear with confidence. So whatever it is about this connection that's scaring you right now, your guides are saying, face your fears and take a leap, whatever that leap is, whether it's committing a little bit more, telling this person how you feel, making an effort to be a little bit more connected to this person, you should. This feels like a newer connection, but if this is like an old connection that you want to revisit again, because some of y'all, I'm seeing this little baby in the, the, the flower thing. Somebody could be a musician as well because they have the guitar on this old man or like, I don't know, maybe you've been to a restaurant with this person. I'm getting mariachi band or like something about that. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe you recently went somewhere and there was a mariachi band or I don't know. Somebody could play the guitar. But either way, I'm getting like this person... This person is willing to face their fears to come your way or to be with you. So you need to figure out how you feel about them and face your fears. Or somebody could be, I'm getting mariachi, so somebody could be Latino or could like Latino food <laughs> or Mexican food. I don't know. I don't know. You also have for self-care, you have sync with the moon. All right. So something about, look, that heart space. Connecting with that heart pile too. You need to connect with your heart space. Your, your guides want you to connect more with your heart space to feel your feelings more. To be honest about your feelings if you can. Communicate them. 
I had to pull out the booklet and look up the moon phase to see how this moon correlates with the reading for you. And today when I'm reading this, it's a waning gibbous. The waning gibbous says clean, clean house and continue releasing what is no longer serving you. Hello. Throw away that shit <laughs> from your ex. Throw away that ex stuff. If you have something from your ex in your space, throw that away. Make space for this person if you want this person or like release what is no longer serving you some of y'all there's things that no longer serve you you're holding on to it you're like I know I'm still hurt about this thing or I'm still thinking about this person release it let it go embrace this whoever this is if you really want to talk to this person embrace this person you also have the presence of love will always cast out fear this person loves you. I don't know if you just met this person or what. If this is like a, a person who you have some sort of history with, but it just didn't go into a relationship, this person definitely loves you. For real. And I feel like they want to face their fears. Is what I'm getting? And then your love oracle that came out, you have power. You instinctively know what is right for you and you have the power to let I'm sorry, <laughs> you have the power to say no or walk away at any time. For some of you guys, if you feel like this connection is not where it's at, if you are very nervous, you don't trust this person, whatever it is, you have to break out of the mindset that this person can hurt you. Somebody in here is repeating the narrative that like, oh, this like, you know, love hurts me and I can't open up or I can't do this. Staying in that type of mindset is going to keep you in a space of victim mode. Whoever's watching this, you need to get into the, the idea or the mindset that, you know, if this person does you wrong or if you pick up on something that is very wrong for you in this connection, you can leave. You can leave this person. You're not going to become so codependent that you can't detach. Your world will not crumble if you break up with this person, right? I feel like a lot of you in this pile could have experienced some real traumatic things in a past relationship, all right. And it's causing you to not see the potential for this situation to grow. But this person is like, I'm here. And all you have to do is step out of your comfort zone, even with this four cups. Like these are the cups you keep looking at. You keep looking at this third party you were in. All right. Or you keep looking at whatever type of harsh experiences you've had in the past. But you have a new opportunity. Whether it's with someone you already know or with someone completely new, there's a new opportunity for love here. This person's like, hey, we can do this. The universe is like, hey, here you go. But you got to get out of your head. And you got to change your perspective. You got to let the, the old fall. Tower card. Got to let the old fall. Got to let the past crumble. Even if there's a history with this person, let that version of the history die. Like, that's got to go. And open your heart to this person, and then a new situation will unfold. So, that is all that I have for my pal twos. Thank you so much for watching this pal two. I appreciate you. I hope you enjoyed the message. If it resonated, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Turn on your notification bells. Check the description box down below for my booking information, as well as the channel songs. And have a nice night. All right, pile three. Last but not least, you are the pile that chose the dragon's blood incense. Okay, somebody in this pile, you definitely could be a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sag, or you're dealing with one. I'm also getting... I'm also getting... Earth, for sure. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I'm also getting Scorpio. And Gemini, <laughs> that candle is making a, a weird noise right now. Like it's like a screaming sound, but it's not like screaming. It's like one of the wicks that make that crazy sound. But for some of you, this person, you definitely know this person. All right. This could be a friend of yours. This could also be a love interest. This could also be a lovers and friends type of vibe like maybe you guys started off as friends and ended up being lovers or there's something here about that pile three um this person may feel like you've cleared your space of them 
or vice versa. Somebody has cleared out house. Like this person may feel like you, you don't even hang around the same people anymore or like you've changed. You've changed in the time that they've been away from you or in the time that they've known you. Um, it's funny too, because even amongst the songs that I channeled for you, one of the songs that came out and I didn't put it in the list of songs, but one of them that came up on my playlist was, um, a, a karmic clearing frequency, like clearing out old karmic relationships or karma. So for some of you, this person may have cleared out this energy with you, or this person may feel like you've cleared this away with them. Or for some of you where this is something like maybe there's history here, but it's not super toxic. Again, I'm getting like this person has seen you change in a certain way where the people you used to hang around, you don't hang around them anymore. Or the people you used to date, you don't date those kinds of people anymore. Like this person has seen you clean house. That's what I'm getting. But I do feel like this person views you as having a type possibly like I'm getting somebody has a type. Um, so either this person feels like your type is like <laughs> toxic, like maybe this person thinks you like a bad boy, bad girl, or this is how they view you. Somebody could be foreign with that export quality. I'm feeling like somebody in here is foreign or like you and this person could be of different nationalities or backgrounds, cultures, hoods, like some of you guys are from different neighborhoods. Um, somebody could even be from India. They don't have to be, or their name could be India. Hmm. Yeah. But yeah, I'm getting the vibe where this person feels like you have definitely cleared out house. You could have even cleared them out <laughs> and they recognize that. Now, how does this person feel about you? Pile Three, I feel like this person views you as being very close to achieving whatever type of goals or aspirations you've had. All right. I feel like especially if this is like somebody from the past, this person feels like you are currently stepping out of your comfort zone. You're doing something completely new. You're in a new phase of your life. You've been healing. You know, you've been maintaining whatever type of vision you've had in the past. And I feel like this person is also wanting to do the same. I get a strong vibe that this person is inspired by you. You are an inspiration to this individual. Um, also, I kind of warn the other piles, but the warning is just like a disclaimer saying that, you know, I'm going to try to be as honest in these piles as possible and not rude about it or like to hurt your feelings or anything like that. But um, I don't think that I was, you know, I don't even have, I mean, I, I got it. <laughs> I got I got it in me to be rude, but I don't even aim to be that way. So I, I you know, I'm just doing it for extra safety, but that's not my thing. Um, and maybe that's something that you need to know. Like that's this person's, I don't think this person wants to have conflict with you or you're not the type that enter, entertains conflict. Like I'm getting that, like you may not be the type of person that wants to argue or, you know, wants to keep repeating the same conflict from the past. So I feel like this person, if there has been any issues with this person, whether they're new or old, I definitely get that this is someone that wants to clear the air and, make amends you even have a time to give rather than take I feel like this person may feel like it's time for them to give to you all right like it's time for them to pour into you maybe in the past they didn't do this and now they want to they want you to feel safe around them I don't know if this person betrayed you in the past or again if this person may have done something that caused you to to question their loyalty or question their trust but this is somebody that's trying to make it a safe space between the two of you again you have two cards that came out, one that says 42, one that says 24. Of course, that's a six, so June may be significant. That's Cancer and Gemini, but um, with you getting 42 and 24, I feel like you guys definitely are mirroring each other. Like, you and this person could have mirroring experiences. Maybe you have similar views of the situation and you don't even know it. Like, you and this person could feel the exact same way. Especially, like, because, you know, the whole thing is... You might be mad at this person, but for you to look into the reading and look up this person, clearly either you either you need to <laughs> either you need to heal so you stop looking up this person that hurt you or you still care about this person. Okay? And this person still cares about you. Cuz I feel like you both are feeling the same way. This person might even be looking into readings about you, Pau 3. They could be going on YouTube and looking up tarot readings too, especially if they know that you're a reader or like that you're into tarot or something. 
you may have helped this person awaken to their spiritual gifts or something like that or just become more interested in their spiritual journey um signs that could be relevant again cancer gemini virgo is out here i'm also seeing taurus um taurus virgo capricorn but taurus heavy aquarius as well scorpio as well gemini libra aquarius here gemini heavy aries here heavy virgo heavy um cancer pisces scorpio again gemini again and yeah this could be these this person sign or your sign um or i named the signs earlier I'm also getting all the fixed signs. So Scorpio, Taurus, Leo, and Aquarius. Capricorn as well, yes. Capricorn isn't a fixed sign, but <laughs> I just said Capricorn. That horse on this card also is giving me Sag. Um, but it could also give Leo because it's confidence. Somebody in here could like riding horses. You and this person, you actually could be like, I could be talking to someone who's like, you know, pretty seasoned <laughs> Do you know what I mean you could be someone that is um you could have known this person for a very long time or you are someone that is more mature like I don't know whether you're older than this person or this person just views you as being very mature but this person views you as being very mature pal three like you could be younger than this person and still be wiser this person learns from you they have learned from you some of you are definitely some form of a teacher spiritual leader therapist something like, there's something here about you being very healing to this person. You could even work at a hospital. You don't have to. Or again, there's something about you that has healed this person. This person feels like they've healed. Being around you, communicating with you, interacting with you. All right? You may even, even help them heal certain things about themselves where they didn't feel attractive or didn't feel desired or didn't feel connected to other people i feel like because one of the songs that came up you got wu-tang forever and you know wu-tang forever first off i don't know whether you're in a commitment or what because in wu-tang forever he talks about how he's sleeping with her out of spite because she knows like his man don't <laughs> do you right <laughs> he says your man don't do you right i don't know whether this person <laughs> I'm cracking up. I don't know whether this person, um, it's not funny to cheat, by the way. This is not why I'm laughing. I'm only laughing because I just tried to impersonate Drake. But some of you guys, there's something here where it's like you could have been in a relationship when you met this person or you are in a relationship or this person is like something about the connection. Somebody, something about a relationship being involved. There was a third party at some point in time. Or is a third party here? If you're in the third party, this person wants to break up your relationship. I'm not gonna lie. And if you are the one, no, no, some of y'all, you're the one. If you're in a relationship, this person wants to end your relationship. They wanna be with you. But if they're in a relationship, this person wants to leave their relationship behind to come towards you either way this person wants to come towards you um however it's, it seems kind of messy like somebody's gonna need to end something before they pursue something because i definitely get the vibe where there's some sort of issue between the two of you right now there's definitely conflict or animosity maybe somebody felt abandoned in the past you guys could not be talking to each other or somebody felt juggled again heavy on the juggling I'm not going to lie, Pile uh, 1. Some of y'all... Oh, no, not Pile 1. Some of you guys may resonate with Pile 1. I'm not going to lie, Pile 3. Some of you guys are... Like... This person... If this person did put you in a third party, or if this person was someone that didn't show you the proper love that you needed... Somebody could be in the LGBTQ, by the way. They don't have to be. But if there wasn't enough love shown in this... The lesson that you learned from this was to figure out where you were headed. And I feel like this person learned a lesson too, but I'm getting the vibe here where it's like whatever lesson that was taught between the two of you was really meant to help you both kind of release the desire to keep being breadcrumbed. Like somebody had to choose a path and if you didn't choose it with each other, then you're choosing it separately and I feel like 
you may view this person as being a bit manipulative. This person may view you as being a bit manipulative. Like I'm getting something here where both of you may have expressed feelings or showed interest, but nobody ever took the accurate steps to come forward and pursue this how they need it to and I do feel like this person you know for some of you this person's a bit insecure like whether you know this or not this person may feel like they're not worthy enough for you whether they don't feel like they're attractive enough or you know maybe I don't know if you've made them feel this way like maybe some of you made this person feel this way it's like this person may not feel good enough and they're viewing you as being like very loving and very kind but like better than them and to a certain degree, I feel like this has caused this person to kind of, you know, again, it's like self-sabotage, teeter between choosing you and not choosing you because they felt like you were wiser or more attractive or smarter or more established. Like there's something here about like a hierarchy, like them feeling like you were better than them or something like that. That may have caused some sort of rift between the connection and made this person feel like, you know, even though they're still maintaining some sort of vision for the future with you, this person may also feel like you both are in healing phases, like you're not actually open to what's going on. But this person wants to come your way. This person feels like you've learned whatever lesson you were supposed to learn or you are learning it. And they're like, OK, well, now I'm ready or I, I want to come towards you because you look like you're prepared or something like that. Like it's definitely given that this person wants to come in. And I feel like your guides are letting you know that the advice for you is kind of interesting, Pile 3, because I feel like this person's like, or your guides at least, are saying that you have options. So whether you want to be with this person, talk to someone else, stay in a commitment if you're in one or whatever it is, your guides are saying you can do whatever you want. And all they need you to do is stay open. For some of you, you're not talking to anyone. I'm getting like, this is a very single pile. You may not even have a lot of friends around you or something like that. Like some of you that chose this pile are very isolated right now. If not very isolated, you're just not focused on casual things. And I don't feel like you have to be focused on casual things. But there is an energy here of like your guide saying, be a little bit more open to exploring the options rather than I don't know, waiting on this person or denying love. Like, I feel like a lot of people are attracted to you. A lot of people are drawn to whatever it is that you do, especially if you have something specific that you're doing in your career. If you're like a teacher or a leader or whatever it is, this person and many other people are drawn to you. All right, whatever you're choosing to do for your work right now, there's a lot of people that like you. A lot of people think you're attractive. A lot of people feel like you are one of one. So whoever this is, this person is really focused on finding a way to get towards you, but they definitely don't feel good enough or they feel left out. And they're hoping that you can forgive them or they're hoping that you can see them, like you choose them or something like this. So when it comes to your advice, because we got the advice cards to the side, first card that came out, you have peace. I'm a being of love and I release all negative energy. So again, I don't know whether there was some sort of weird breakup, harsh ending, friendship breakup, third party, anything like that in this connection. However, this connection ended in the past or played out. Your guides are saying that they want you to change your energy. They want you to be a being of love and light and uh, release all negativity when it comes to this situation, whether you choose to revisit it or not. If you're going to be with this person, make sure you're coming in with some sort of forgiveness in your heart, no longer carrying resentment. But if you aren't going to forgive this person, just make sure you don't carry that resentment into the next connection. You also have two for self-care. You have rest. So some of you guys need to sleep more. I feel like you work a lot, pal. Um... Uh, pile three you may resonate with pile one some of you guys work a lot like I know a lot of people might care about you and and appreciate what you do but something about this energy in this pile it's like you do so much work for everybody else that you don't really have time to explore your options or enjoy your love life or love yourself fully so your guys are saying like bare minimum go to sleep 
<laughs> bare minimum take a nap make sure you're taking a nap you also had this oracle that came out it said my vibes speak louder than my words so again yes if you're asking for love or you're saying you're ready for love make sure your actions match that don't be closed off and mean or don't even say like oh yeah I forgive you and and come up and you know show some sort of attitude or distance or you know disgust around this person sorry I keep rubbing my eye I don't know if you can hear this um don't show some level of disgust around this person if you actually are interested in this person like your energy needs to match what you're saying and if you what you're saying is like I like you or I want to be with you show that to this person for real or if you're saying I'm single and I'm not focused on this person I'm looking for other love stop looking at readings about this person because you came to, to look into this person this person's looking at you but you may not even want this person yeah, it might stroke your ego to hear that they're still thinking about you, but it isn't any of any benefit if you keep looking into them and you don't want to be here, right? All right, and then you also have, for your love oracles, you have close your eyes and tell yourself that you deserve to feel joyful. You can allow joy into your heart regardless of the circumstances you currently find yourself in. So yeah, if this connection was hard and you're moving forward, if you've experienced something negative in the past and you want to move forward, your guides are saying make sure you know that you're worthy or remind yourself that you're worthy of love even if you're not completely ready to embrace it just yet. You also have two, give thanks for the blessings of love soon to come your way. Know that you deserve to be and have all that your heart truly Truly desires so some of you guys need to stay optimistic because love's coming in whether it's this person from the past that wants to make an offer or new people because you have options pile uh pile three you have options you have a lot of options actually a lot of people interested in you some people wanting to, to fight for the relationship but some people are like completely new wanting to pursue you or wanting to be pursued and they're open to this so you have to figure out what you want um but I do feel like the person that you're looking into wants you they're trying to strategize how to get back to you I don't know whether you block this person or what but they're trying to figure out how to get back on your good side because I don't feel like this person uh, thinks that they are so that is all that I have for my pile threes thank you so much for watching pile three I appreciate you I hope this reading resonated if you enjoyed it please like comment share and subscribe turn on your notification bells check the description box down below to book a personal reading with me um and yep <laughs> that's all that I got talk to you guys later